Jessica is here again at Chalky Mount St. Andrew. Looking towards the St. Andrew Valley with Bell Plain, where you will see the Arlene Secondary School, which is one of Barbados's top and older secondary schools. Arlene School dates back to 1697, and you can see St. Andrew's Parish Church as well, also in Bell Plain. St. Andrew's Parish Church dates back to 1639, and it was built in 1846. Behind St. Andrew's Parish Church, you can see all up to the um, Cherry Tree Hill, which leads back into the parish of St. Peter with Bosco Bell and Morgan Lewis Hill. And again, I'm in the Scotland district of Barbados. And the Scotland district comprises of the parishes of St. Andrew and St. Joseph. And they are referred to as the Scotland district because of their resemblance to the Scotland countryside in England. And they are the parishes of the Mortars. So you can see all the St. Simons and St. Andrew, Lakes and Bell Plain, all in the parish of St. Andrew. And this is the Sleeping Giant next door to Chalky Mount. The Sleeping Giant is referred as such because of its shape. It's a giant line on its back with a leaf formation or something like that in its mouth. And over here now is Cambridge in St. Joseph, which is right next to Talking Mount. And we start up the Sex Hill, upper parts, lower parts, and Bissett's Hill all in the parish of St. St. Joseph all is in the Scotland district and we can see all of in St. Thomas the Sturges with the antenna for CBC is CBC antenna is situated at Sturges St. Thomas the antenna for CBC CBC is our state on radio and television station CBC stands for Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation their antenna is at Sturgis in St. Thomas. And we can see over to the east coast. Looking in a southeasterly direction now. A southeasterly direction towards Barclays Park Beach, which is just nestled on the Chalky Mount. And we can see the east coast road as well. East Coast Road is known as the Army Bond Highway, the main highway that runs from St. Joseph, down Catawba, all into Bell Plain in St. Andrew. It was opened by Queen Elizabeth II herself in February 1966. You can see um, Barclays Park Beach, known as the East Coast Beach. You can see George River. Catawash, which is in St. Joseph now. George River and Catawash is in St. Joseph. Along with Bashiba, we can see out of Bashiba with rocks in the sea. And Tent Bay, which is a fishing village. Tent Bay is also a part of Bashiba. Tent Bay is south of Bashiba. It's the parish of St. Joseph, and Tent Bay is also a fishing village. We can see Martins Bay in St. John. And we can see. Bar Beach is also done along with um, Concert Beach as well, which is also in St. John because it's all to the East Point Lake House in St. John. So all the Scotland District, you can call the Scotland District got its name because of the soil. Well, it got its name because of the resemblance to the Scotland countryside, but Chalky Mount got its name because of the soil. The soil here is made, it's kind of clay like, like chalk. That's how the name Chalky Mount came about. So, again, I'm in the Scotland district, and the Scotland district comprises of the parishes of St. Andrew and St. Joseph. 
and they are referred to as the Scotland District because of their resemblance to the Scotland countryside and they are the parishes of the North Hills. All chalky mount into the St. Andrew Valley. The arts of Morgan Lewis, the mill which is also in St. Andrew. The only working windmill here in Barbados. Morgan Lewis also gives an awesome view of the Scotland district. And it is the only working windmill here in Barbados. It's about a 1747 and it is the largest windmill in Barbados and in the Caribbean. And it is the only working mill. All the salty mountain here. So we can also see Barbados' highest point, which is Mount Hillaby, 1,115 feet, also in the parish of St. Andrew, and is a part of the Scotland district. Mount Hillaby, Barber, St. Andrew, and St. Thomas. It is the highest point, 1,116 feet. So the Scotland district shows the true beauty of Barbados. As I said before, Barbados is not an island like Jamaica, Trinidad, Guyana, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Dominica, and Grenada. And other Caribbean countries that have lots of hills and valleys, but they still have some. But it, ha it, don't have, it doesn't really have hills and valleys and rivers here in Barbados. But if you go to the Scotland district, you will come across a number of these resources right here in the Scotland district. All the hills here are made of clay. Here at Chalkimo. Thanks for watching now and have a blessed evening.